Hello and welcome to the second tutorial in the Cocos 2DX version 3 C++ tutorial series and in this tutorial we're going to look at how to set up a new Cocos 2DX project for Android on a Mac. If you want to do it for Windows don't worry, in the next tutorial we're going to cover how to set up an Android project for, with Cocos 2DX for Windows. This tutorial assumes no base code because the first tutorial was just setting up for iOS so you're just good to go with nothing. What you want to do is open up a web browser because you need to download a few things first. First of all you want to download Cocos 2DX. All the required links for the downloads will be in the description. You want to go to download, then download this version, version 3.0 of Cocos 2DX. Then you want to download NDK, so the native development kit. And you just want to download the version you have. I'm on Mac OS 64-bit, so that's the version I have. Then you want to type in ADT, which is the Android Development Tools. Then you want to click on Download, download the SDK. And finally, you want to download Apache Ant. Let's go on their website. You want to go to Download Binary Distributions, and then download the .zip archive. Once you've downloaded those four files, you're good to go. And the next thing is to actually extract them. I placed them in my application development folder. I just want to extract them each, each one of them one by one. While it's extracts, just want to say, as tutorials take a little bit of time to make, I won't unfortunately be able to upload all the tutorials in this tutorial series in one go in one day. So if you have any questions and we haven't covered it yet, feel free to message us and we will help as soon as possible and to the best of our ability as well. I just want to extract the next one now. And then you want to down, extract the next one, which for me is Apache. And finally, I'm going to extract Cocos 2DX. Okay, once that's extracted, I'm just going to simply just expand this so you can see the names properly. This is extracted, you want to open up terminal. Then type in CD, which stands for change directory. And then you just want to change directory to your Cocos 2DX folder. Enter. Now we want to run this setup Python command. To do that, you do Python dot forward slash setup dot py. Now in, in here, it's added the Cocos console root, so whenever we want in terminal, we can just run the Cocos command and create a new project. Now we need to add the NDK root. For that, it is this folder. We're going to drag and drop. We're going to make sure there's no space at the end. We can click enter. Now it's asking for the Android SDK root, and that is ADT. Oh, I'm extracting again. It's ADT, then the SDK folder here. Drag and drop that. Again, make sure there's no space at the end. Finally, you want the ant root. And the ant root is the Apache ant folder, then bin. That's where the ant file is. Drag and drop that. Get rid of the space at the end again. Click enter. And finally, you just need to run the bash profile. So that's source, forward slash users, forward slash sonar systems forward slash dot bash underscore profile click enter oh uh, oops no 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 it's something users I didn't type in users in my bad it's basically this command here so obviously you probably wouldn't type in sonar systems and I just go click enter 
And the easy way to confirm that it's working is to run the Python command again. And basically, it doesn't ask you to type anything else in because you've already got all the environment variables set up. So once that's done, what you want to do is actually create a new project. And that is really simple. You just do cocos new then the name your project I'll put tutorial v3 cpp then dash p now this is the package name I'm gonna put learning dot sonar systems dot tutorial v3 cpp you can put whatever you want normal convention probably something like com dot your name or company name then dot the actual game or project name base dash L now the language so you can put Lua for Lua or CPP for C++ I'm going to put CPP because that's what we're doing then optional parameter of dash D which is directory and which is why it's really cool you can actually save it wherever you want and you'll copy Cocos 2DX into it so we're just going to save it to the desktop so if I just open up my computer go to my hard drive users some of systems Drag and drop desktop and click enter. It's just running the command and it's just creating the new project. So now that's done, we can just drag and drop below there. We can, oh, actually, I'm just going to clear this first so it's a little neater. Move it over and let's get rid of that. We can open up this now. And what we need to do is go to our terminal, type in cd, change directory to the project Android. First of all, I just want to mention Cocos 2D X is here, the library. It's about 198 megabytes or so. I had a question on YouTube saying, because it's that big, will basically my game be that big? No, it's just the library is that big. Your game will be not 200 meg. Well, it might be, but it's not going to be because of Cocos 2D X, so there's no need to worry about that. Okay, and then you click enter, so you're in that directory. And now you want to run this command the build native Python command. To do that, do Python dot for slash build so I'm score native dot py click enter. Now it's just going to compile Cocos 2DX and your project. The unfortunate thing is about version 3, as far as I'm aware, you have to do this every single time you make a change for your project, your game. The, the upside is even though you have to run this again, because unless you literally change every single Cocos 2DX file and every single one of your files, it, it is snappy, it doesn't take this long at all. So it's not too much of an issue. Okay, now that is done, the next step is to actually just open up Eclipse. So we'll just minimize that second. And Eclipse is part of your ADT, which we downloaded or you downloaded before. You click on Eclipse folder, then click the Eclipse executable. Click open. You'll ask about your workspace. I like to just leave it at, at, as default. Click OK. OK, so now that that is done, what you want to do is right click or file and do import Android, existing Android code into workspace, browse, go to wherever your project was created, select that folder, click open, no, max voice is a little bit. Click deselect all, and we just need two projects. We need the lib Cocos 2DX project, which is the library file, and the actual project file that we created. You don't want to check this, copy projects into workspace, leave it where it is. Click finish. All these errors are just going to disappear, and now they disappeared. Just right click this, go on properties. Come builders, make sure there's no invalid builders. If there is, you just click it, click remove. The remove button will be there if, it, if it's invalid. But we should actually be all good to run it now. So if we just right click, run out. And before I click it, 
I'm just going to get a device ready so I can record my Android device so you can see it running. Okay. So if I click Android application, okay, there we go. We've got our Cocos 2DX application. They focus in, and that's it. It literally is that simple. That is all you need to do for running Coco Studio X and generating a new project. Like I said, if you do make any changes, like obviously you're gonna make changes because you're creating a game, you wanna make sure you CD back to your Android project folder and then run the build native.py again and then deploy it to your device. So that's it for this tutorial. If you have any questions about how to do this or you have any issues, just comment or message us at support at sonarsystem.co.uk which will be in the description as well or just message us directly through YouTube and as usual thanks for watching.